Hey guys, it's Adrian Norbert BHA here bringing you a new video. So you may have seen my videos on, uh, let's see, HA dashboard or uh, tile board. Those are uh, dashboard setups for like touch screens uh, for your home assistant configuration. So um, if you didn't like either one of those and you're looking for something else, uh, this is another one out there called Home Panel. Uh, as you can see, here is their web page. Uh, it's got lots of information about it and uh, ways to uh, get it installed and even some screenshots. Lots of information on here, so feel free to check it out. Let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we're going to create a directory to store our home panel config in, and we will download a starter template uh, for our config.json file as well. Once that's done, we are ready to add the uh, home panel container into our uh, Docker compose file. Once that's done, we're uh, ready to basically log into home panel. Lastly, we're just going to play around with it for a little bit, kind of show you how it looks and works, uh, see that in action. So let's get started. All right, so for starters, like I said, we are going to basically go to their web page and under customization, uh, there is a template link here that has a uh, starter config template that you can use to at least kind of get you up and going with Home Panel. So we're going to uh, copy this, save it, and then back on the command line, I'm going to create a directory to store my config.json file in. So uh, we'll do a mkdir. I'm just going to call mine home underscore panel. As you can see there, it's in my home directory with some of my other config files and stuff. We'll go ahead and move into that home panel directory, and then we're going to create a config.json file that we'll use to paste in uh, what we just copied off their web page. So we'll do a vi config.json. And of course, we'll go ahead and paste that uh, template in there that we copied off their website. Go ahead and save that. Uh, once that's done, we're ready to move on to that next step. Now we're ready to add the home panel container uh, config into our docker compose file. So uh, head over to my docker compose directory and we're going to edit our docker compose.yaml file. Should find me an open spot in here. I'm going to call mine home panel. Uh, give it a container name, home panel as well. Now the image is uh, timmo001 slash home dash panel. And I'll have all this in the uh, description below so you can copy and paste it. Uh, ports. Home panel uses two ports. Uh, so we need to open both of those up. We'll do, uh, let's see, 3234. And... 8234. Now for volumes, we basically just need to point it to that config.json file that we just created. So I had mine in my uh, in a home panel directory inside my home directory. So we'll do home slash Adrian slash home underscore panel slash config.json colon slash data slash config.json. Once we have all that in there, we'll go ahead and save that. And now we can do a uh, sudo docker dash compose up dash D to get that installed. Give that a second to finish and then we'll jump over to uh, portainer to take a look at that and make sure everything looks okay. So here in Portainer, I'm just going to click on Home Panel. I kind of scroll down through here. Everything looks good. There's the ports. Our volumes are listed. I think we are good to go. Let's move on to the next step. All 
All right, so uh, in order to access home panel, we do that by going to the IP address of our host machine, which for me is 10.10.10.8, and then the port number colon 8234. And it will bring up a login page. We don't have an account yet, so we're gonna create an account. I'm gonna call mine Adrian, give it a password. Now the API URL, this is the API for home panel. Um, so this uses the other port that we have open. So we'll do an HTTP colon slash slash 10.10.10.8 colon 3234. And then of course our home assistant URL, this is how we access the web front end of home assistant. So if it's a, uh, if you have HTTPS, make sure you put that in there. If you have a uh, DNS name or IP address, depending on how you set it up, list all that information out here. Go ahead and hit sign up. And as you can see, now we're on the uh, front end of home panel. And this is, of course is what we used uh, from the starter config that we pasted in there. So pretty basic, um, you know, but at least get you going and has some stuff to find that you can kind of play around with. Uh, as you can see up at the top, there's a section for um, themes. It's right next to the little pencil icon. It looks like maybe like a, a paint roller icon. Click on that and you can kind of change it for a light theme or a midnight theme, dark theme. All these are set up by default. Let's move on to that last step. All right, so back here on the uh, main screen of home panel, if you hit the edit icon, you can actually edit all of your config and everything right here in the web GUI. This is a very cool feature, not having to go into uh, the config files and, and do everything from the CLI, especially for those people that don't like monkeying with the, uh, the CLI and stuff like that. You can edit your themes and add in themes here. It looks like uh, there's a place for the header, modify that. We're actually gonna scroll down to items and they had a couple of them set up in here. We're gonna change these to entities that we actually have in Home Assistant. So let's see, in the living room, I have uh, changed this to living room lights. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an icon. We'll say light bulb. As you can see, by default, it uses the material designs uh, icons similar to Home Assistant. And you can, of course, change the uh, size and width and uh, everything else uh, here as well. Uh, see, this one was called dining room. I'm going to change it to kitchen. And, of course, we'll change the entity ID to my kitchen cabinet lights. Go ahead and save that. Bam, as you can see, it's already updated. Uh, it's got a button for the living room lights and then one for kitchen cabinets as well. If you click on those, of course they change color. I'm pretty sure we can edit that and uh, change it to different colors if we want to. Another cool thing is um, if you have color changing bulbs, like my kitchen cabinet lights, if you do a long press on this, see if I can get this to work. It will actually come up and you can select a different color for the bulbs, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can change them, not just by turning them on and off, but you can change the color right here as well. It pulled all that information in from uh, Home Assistant. So it didn't have to do any special configuration to make that work. Pretty cool feature there. Well, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, just a quick intro into Home Panel. Uh, if you hadn't uh, been a fan of HA Dashboard or Tileboard, then this is another one that you can try here that you might like even better. I'll play around with it some more, and then maybe I'll do a follow-up video that goes a little bit more in-depth. But this will at least get you going, get you guys playing around with it, because for me, that's the best way to learn about it and uh, see how it works is just to kind of get in there and do it myself.
let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video of course for starters we um, created that directory and added in our starter config that we copied from their web page uh, once we did that then of course we added our home panel configuration into our docker compose file once that was done we were ready to log into home panel and lastly I just uh, played around with it a little bit kind of showed you what that looked like in action like I said that's the end of the video guys uh, tell me what you think of, uh, of home panel versus HA dashboard or tileboard I'm curious to know which one you guys like better uh, if you like the video definitely subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.